I'm going to do some fun things today with meringue. I don't know if you like meringue. It's basically sugar and egg whites. It's very light, melts in your mouth, and it takes on the taste of whatever you give it. You can make it vanilla, you can make it mint, you can make it almond, you can make it whatever you want. Here are some Christmas trees that I made with meringue. And I've made some with the meringue that I tinted green, some I just kept white. We decorated them with various kinds of decorations that you can buy in the store nowadays. There's a, so many different things you can buy. You can also use those candy cherries that you find at this time of year. It cut into very small little pieces. Those look really cute. And on top of these, I have melted some white chocolate, um, some white candy melts. And then I put it into a bag and just made tiny little stars and sprinkled sugar on them. So you can make Christmas trees. You can make candy cane shapes. You can make pretty... Uh, wreaths like this and then put a ribbon around them and decorate a tree much like we have back here. Um, I have the meringue ornaments and then I also have um, applesauce and cinnamon gingerbread boys which are not edible but they are pretty. If you don't have a recipe for those send me an email I'll be happy to send it to you. So let's get started with our meringue. In a mixer bowl or any large bowl. I have four egg whites that are at room temperature. That's kind of important. You want them as warm as possible in this recipe. I'm also going to put in just a pinch of cream of tartar. Cream of tartar helps stabilize it. When I say pinch, I do mean a pinch. It's not like a teaspoon or anything like that. That's way too much. And then one cup of regular white sugar. And just I'm going to use almond extract today. Again, like I said, you can put vanilla, but if you're going to use vanilla in making meringues, you want to use the artificial, which is probably the only time I'm going to tell you to do that because it's clear. If you use the brown, it's going to change the color of your meringue and you don't want that. If you're going to tint your trees green, mint is a nice flavor at this time of year, but I'm going to use almond because it is clear. I'm going to use just a touch, eighth of a teaspoon. And to help it along, I'm going to mix it up. And over here, I have a pot with some water in it, about an inch of water in the bottom of the pot to about here. And you can see the steam rising off of it. I want this water to be warm and barely simmering. We do not want it boiling. We don't want to cook these eggs that much. What we're going to do is put this pot over the water and stir it frequently. What you're trying to do is dissolve the sugar in the egg whites and warm the egg whites so that when you put them on your mixer, they're going to fluff up. So this takes oh, three, four minutes, maybe. While this is warming, let's talk about a piping bag. I've made a homemade piping bag. You, if you have the professional kind and you want to use those, that's fine. But this is inexpensive. However, do use a freezer quality bag. The other ones, the seams are not as good and you could end up with a burst bag and that's just a mess. You do need a coupler of some sort to make the pretty swirls and a tip. You can use any tip that you want to make your swirls. And I just cut a hole in the corner and put the inside coupler and then the tip on. Then I get a tall glass. This just helps me when I'm filling it. And to give it a little stability, I'm going to turn over the top, put this in the cup, and then I can just, this way I can scoop it in and it's not flipping and flopping. So let's wait with that. Let's, this still needs probably about three minutes. I can see the graininess of the sugar still there. That's about right. I'm going to get a towel. I'm going to take this off of the water. And now just give me a minute while I get rid of this and get my mixer. All right, let's continue with our recipe by putting this on our mixer. Get rid of our towel. And I'm going to use the wire whisk attachment for egg whites. This is going to take, it's going to be noisy, and it's going to take not that long, maybe three minutes on high speed because we've warmed them, so they're ready to be whipped. Here we go. Well, 
that's about it. Those are nice and stiff. Tough to get off. So see, there's a meringue. Now let me tell you one thing about meringues. If it's raining outside or it's humid, don't make them because they won't come out. Let me get rid of that. And meringue does not like humidity. So now, this would be the time that if you wanted to make these green for trees or whatever color you want, you would put it back on the mixer, put a couple of drops in and color it. I'm going to stick with the white just for simplicity of today. And I think, I happen to think the white trees look pretty with the decorations on them. My oven is on at 200 degrees, by the way. Meringues bake for very, very slow and very long. Actually, you don't bake meringues, you dry meringues. That's all you're doing is drying these egg whites and they are safe to eat, so don't get excited. All right. I'm gonna get as much air out as we want, as we can. Push that meringue down. And now I have a cookie sheet. I have a sheet with parchment paper on it. You don't have to use parchment paper. You can use Silpat. You can bake these on aluminum foil, or you can bake them directly on a sheet with nothing on it. I just do it because it's easier for me to clean up later. So now, this is where the fun part begins. Start making round circles and come up, come up, and make a point. We're going to get rid of those points though because if you're going to put a topper on the tree, you want something you can stick to, so you want like a flat top, but I'll show you how to do that in a minute. So here we go, up, up, up. I happen to think these look pretty with just plain coarse white sugar on them. And you can use candies, you can use colored sugar, and just sprinkle them. This is this part, after you get the trees all done, you can get the kids in here and they can start decorating them before you put them in the oven. I think they would have a ball doing that. All right, I'm making some trees. Now I'm going to make some wreaths. So I'll make round wreaths. And I think I'll make some, I'll make a couple of candy canes. So you could actually make letters, write someone's name. It's really up to you. You could easily double this recipe. As you can see, I still have enough to do a little bit more, but I'm not going to bore you by doing this much longer. Now, what I need to do is I need a little bit of water. Let me just get some water on my finger and just tap down those points. Again, because you want a flat surface that you can stick some sort of a star on later, a topper. Okay, now to decorate. You can go into the stores nowadays and buy all kinds of toppings. This one has a variety of toppings. It has little snowflakes that you could use as your topper on your tree. It's got hollies and berries, it's got some gingerbread guys, and it's got some candy canes. So I'm just gonna show you a little bit, do some candy canes. Yeah, this is crazy, but I use, I use a pair of tweezers to place my candy canes on my trees. And you don't have to do this. This is where I say, bring the kids in. If you want to, you could just take colored red sugar or green sugar and just sprinkle the trees, that's pretty too. And you would just keep doing this all around. Now, for the, for the wreaths, what you can do is you can take some, those candy cherries and cut little pieces and then put some green sugar in the middle for the wreaths. Uh, you could do red sugar in stripes 
on the candy canes, but you just continue to, to decorate your trees and then you will put the tree toppers on later unless you want to use these little snowflakes, which are really pretty. What I've done, I melted some candy melts, as I told you, put them in a little Ziploc bag, cut a hole in the corner, and just made little tiny um, stars and just sprinkled them with colored sugar. And I won't put these on now because they will melt in the oven because they're chocolate. I will adhere these later to the trees with a little bit more melted chocolate by putting a little dot of melted chocolate and then stick the little tree topper on. So when these are done, in the oven for two hours at 200 degrees. After the two hours, turn off the oven, open the door, and leave them in the oven for another 20 minutes or so. And then you can take them out and they'll be able to be uh, peeled off the paper. And those will be your meringues.